Oh, thank you. Last jar. Oh, there it is. Brilliant. What a nice young man to send these. Um, what's this one? This one is Intense Red, my favourite. So, ladies and gentlemen, I now have a variety of dyes. Intense Red, Lemon Yellow, Royal Blue, and look, Cerise Red, my favourite. I have also started my design. I lost the other one, unfortunately, as you may well recollect. Um, but don't worry, I've done my own. Look, I've made a rainbow on that patty paper. There you go, look. One can do anything in a potting shed if one tries really hard. So, rainbow. Some of the colours I have already painted, as you can see. And I have even made orange myself. Look at that. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of red. Brilliant. So, I'm now going to make a stripe of intense red on my rainbow, and then I will make pink. So, here we go. I don't normally have people watching, actually. This is rather exciting. What you must be very careful of, ladies and gentlemen, is not to drip. If you drip, you'll get a drip where you don't want it. And let's be honest, we don't want drips. There are enough drips in the world already. So, can you see? Very nice. It's not like painting painting. It's like painting within the lines. These lines, if you remember, are that PVA glue. PVA glue. To keep the colours apart. But if you do have a little bit of slippage, don't panic, because your patch will be amongst many patches in my hill, which is bigger than you think. Do you see how wonderfully I've done that? There you go. That young man will be very pleased with that. Look at that. Brilliant. So, there we have intense red. I want to clean it in the water. Now, to make pink, I've already put in here some urea water. And I'm now going to introduce it to Cerise Red. A little bit at a time. What you must be really careful of, ladies and gentlemen, is to wear gloves at all times, because this dyes anything it touches. One's boots. Oh, and incidentally, if you do come across some 34R corduroy, I would be very grateful if you could drop them off at Blue and HQ. It gets a little bit nippy in the potting shed at night. Thank you. So, oh yes, making pink. So try not to get it on anything. And then we're going to introduce some pink now to the Ariot. It looks the same. Yeah. It also looks like Ribena, but don't drink it. So I think that's probably pink. Let's hope so. So all I've done is water it down. Shall we see? Okay, ladies, this will either be a perfect thing or a complete disaster. Oh, I think I've made pink. Oh, look at that. What do you say? I was trying to remember the rhyme. You know that one about the Duke of York battling something or other? Don't know where he went. Can't remember what it was for. Is that how the colours go? What's the Duke stand for? Puke. Don't know. There we go. Look at that. Personally, I think rainbows should all be this colour. It looks rather beautiful. How's that? Trying not to drip. Trying not to slippage and trying to stay within the gap. Sort of maimed the gap almost. There we are. Look at that. Do you know? I'm rather pleased with myself. Who would have thought it? Painting silk in a potting shed without any trousers. Amazing. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope to see you soon.
and uh, just one last word about coloration and slippage don't panic if there is a bit of slippage that's normal with a, a sort of a handmade patch especially on silk especially in the potting shed the most important thing obviously ladies and gentlemen is to protect yourself whatever you do do not touch your face Oh. <laughs> um, don't touch your face if you've got dye on your hands. Oh.